More than 30 components manufactured by Western companies were found in the Iranian-made Shad-136 one-way attack drones, according to the investigators of the Trap Aggressor project. The Trap Aggressor experts examined a kamikaze drone shot down on 13 October 2022, above the Black Sea near the southern city of Edisa. The drone lost its warhead, but the rest of its parts remained intact. The investigators examined the parts of the Iranian Shad 136, in partnership with the Independent Anti-Corruption Commission, NACO. Since early September, Russians have been attacking Ukrainian civilians with the Shad 136 Iranian drones, which were colloquially dubbed mopeds, for the peculiar sound they produced during the flight. The Shad 136s were developed by HISA, an Iran-based aircraft manufacturing industrial company. The UAV weighs approximately 200 kilograms, 40 of which are its warhead. The explosive charge and optics for accurate attack are placed in the front of the UAV. These kamikaze drones are launched from a truck in series and can reach a velocity of more than 185 km per hour mid-air. The Russian military renamed the aerial vehicle Jiren-2 to disguise the Iranian origin of this weapon. The Ukrainian intelligence disassembled several Shad 136s and found that almost every part of the drone is of American or European origin. The only domestically produced component is its engine. The manufacturer of the Shad 136's engine is the Iranian Oj Parvis Mato Nafer company, Mato. It specializes in drone component production and imports exports of commercial products. According to the U.S. Treasury Department, Mato procured of engines for organizations affiliated with the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. On 29 October 2021, the U.S. Treasury Department imposed sanctions on the company and its managers for purchasing engines and parts for Iran's military industry, freezing its assets under U.S. jurisdiction. The same sanctions apply to foreign parties who facilitate the organization's transactions or otherwise help it. All parts inside the Shads but their engines are foreign-made. The Ukrainian intelligence managed to identify more than 30 European and American companies that have produced the components used in the Shad. Most of the parts are US-made. Its servo drive comes from the American Hitech USA Group, its batteries are from the Japanese Panasonic, and its ceramic chip antenna was produced by the Canadian Talisman. The Shad's control board is assembled from Japanese and American parts. The power supply board is made of German and Chinese components. The control unit was produced by the Russian plant Sapatbrber. The Shad's boards, digital signal processors, transceivers, drivers, and receivers were manufactured by the infamous Texas Instruments Company, which continued to work with Russia after Russia had annexed Crimea and unleashed the war in the Donbas in 2014. After the last month's trap aggressors report on the Russian Iskander cruise missiles that shed light on their production, Texas Instruments finally answered regarding whether they were going to continue to trade with the Russian Federation. The company said it doesn't supply anything directly to the Russian market. Also, Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence identified a Ukrainian part in the Shad 136s, an electrical relay manufactured by the Ukrainian state-owned Kharkov-based enterprise Radiorel. The Radiorel enterprise is a subsidiary of the State Property Fund of Ukraine. In 2020, the enterprise was put up for privatization due to inefficient management, but no investor has been found to this day.
the company's chief Anatoly Donitz, who's been running the Radio Rail since 2007, continues to manage the loss-making asset. In 2020, in an interview with local journalists, Donitz complained that back in 2016, the company lost its largest sales market, which was mainly Russia for us. In this way, he actually confirmed that the Ukrainian state company was trading with the aggressor state of Russia up to 2016. Probably, it was the Ukrainian relays supplied to Russia that ended up in Iranian weapons, which have been now destroying Ukrainian cities and killing civilians. Experts from the Independent Anti-Corruption Commission have sent over 35 letters to all the companies whose parts were discovered in Iranian UFs. And to date, only three of those sent their responses.